All right, so this is my Reddit post that I made um, regarding my issue with Fortnite. Um, now I see why this would um, not really lead to any answers. Um, I appreciate the people that did try to help. Thank you. Thank you guys, the Fortnite Reddit, Battle Royale Reddit. Thank you. Um, but this issue is pretty niche and it's only for a certain amount of people with certain hardware. Um, so it's pretty understandable why we couldn't figure out the problem. Um, it took a little bit of experimenting. Anyway, here is the issue right here. So if you have one of these, which is a USB 2.0 adapter or just a USB Wi-Fi adapter in general, um, and this is how you get Wi-Fi um, through one of these devices, then this is the issue. Um, you don't need to get a new one, so don't click buy a new or buy a new one or anything like that. Um, and you don't need to hook up Ethernet actually. It's nothing wrong with the adapter itself, but I'll show you something that is wrong. So um, if you don't have one of these, then this this uh, problem really isn't for you guys, but um, I'm gonna quickly show you the stuttering problem right now. So now that we're in Fortnite, you guys can kind of see what's happening here. Um, essentially, you're getting like a hitchy feeling and I don't have the FPS display right now, but it's not an FPS issue. Um, the FPS stays wherever it is. And this isn't like a, a, a constant, uh, or this is a constant issue. It's not like a once in a while kind of lag. This is continuous. So if you're getting that kind of issue, um, then I guess you should continue watching because I'm going to teach you how to solve it right now. So first you want to um, quit out of Fortnite and pretty much anything that connects to your network or your Wi-Fi or whatever. Delete everything, or don't delete everything, but refresh everything. Make sure that there's nothing open on your desktop. You should have a blank desktop and you can follow these steps. So first you're going to go over to your Windows search or your Cortana or Microsoft, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to search right here and you're going to type in something called device manager. So once you have device manager, it's in your control panel. I'm sure you've all been here. I'm just going to go down to network adapters and you're going to open that one up. And if you have this thing that says Realtek, blah, 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 blah. That's what you want to, that's what you want to do right there. If you don't see that, then this solution may not be for you. Um, I'm going to reiterate that this solution may not be for you. Don't leave hate in the comments. Um, anyway, uh, so what you're going to do here is, um, see this art, this real tech RTL. That's the one we're looking at right here. You're going to right click it and click properties, go over and click the driver tab. Um, and then once that's clicked, um, you don't really need any of these other tabs. The really one, the one that you're really going to want to focus is driver. Uh, here are my settings in advanced. If you really want to see them, I'll just kind of go through here. You can pause if you need to under the driver tab. This is where we really want to focus. So, um, this is the main issue right here. This is, um, this driver that we have right here, the one 31 2018. That's the most recent driver for this specific USB Wi-Fi adapter. This, um, they're all, they all have the same driver, but, um, this one is too up to date. So that's the issue is that this driver is just too up to date for Fortnite and many, many of the other games could be having a problem with this. Um, essentially, what you want to do is instead of update the driver, you want to actually downgrade the driver. And this took me a while to figure out because this kind of thing is not something that you usually come across. You don't really need to get downgraded driver, but we're going to have to anyway. So we just click update driver. Pretty simple process here. Um, so uh, what we want to do here next is click browse my computer for driver software. That's the bottom option. Don't click the top option. So now that we're inside this little window here, you're going to want to click, let me pick from a list, that one, that bottom option. And, uh, these are all these ones down here. Uh, make sure you're hitting show compatible driver or hardware. Um, all these ones down here are not the ones we want to use. We want to make sure that the one we're using, cause these ones are from Realtek semiconductor corp. We don't want those ones just, they're not compatible with Fortnite right now. I don't know if that's a bug, but, um, you're going to actually want to hit the one that automatically downloads with Windows 10 as soon as you install Windows. And that's this top one that has Microsoft right there. See the one that says Microsoft? That is the one you want to install by clicking next and then click close out of that. Don't hit anything else. As you can see that this is 10-26-2016. Um, it's April 21st, 2018 right now. Um, but this driver just doesn't work. The other driver doesn't work, but this driver does. Um, you can always update the driver if you feel like you don't want to downgrade or something or you don't want to play Fortnite for some reason, update it back. There's no real reason to have it updated, but 
Anyway, we're gonna close out of that, close out of everything here. And um, what I recommend doing from here is going into your windows and just doing a clean restart real quick of, um, of your PC. So I'll meet you guys back once that is done. So after you restart here, there's nothing else that you need to do. You can just open up Epic Games Launcher and um, we can begin playing Fortnite. So once that's loaded, I'll show you guys the lack of stutter that you get in the game. So here we are with Fortnite open. Um, as you guys can see, I have no stuttering. I am recording this at 30 FPS, so if the, it looks a little choppy, that's why. Um, but there's no stuttering. If there's any stuttering, um, then it's not, not related to that driver. That driver fixes that kind of stuttering. If you have any lag spikes, then that's different, but enjoy playing Fortnite, guys.